The first way we prove resurrection is through wisdom. We know that man has a soul and the ability to acquire eternal perfection. If it was assumed that man was only here to acquire material perfections, which are limited to the material world, then this will go against divine wisdom and we have proven Allah is the all wise through our Tawheed videos. When we look at this world, it is full of pain and suffering and to achieve limited pleasure, one goes through much suffering. For example, I want to become a millionaire. I have to work very hard and suffer to become a millionaire. And for me to continue, I have to work even harder to get a higher status. This life is all about difficulties, trials and tribulations, with the result of slight pleasure followed by exhaustion. Then being exhausted requires rest to regain strength and then the repetition begins again with trial and tribulations never ending. This becomes a vicious circle and if this is all there is in life, then it goes against our intellect. Our intellect itself will say it can't be just that. Man has been given intrinsic love to be eternal from his creator. He also has been given energy to accomplish this eternal goal, which encourages and motivates him towards its accomplishment. Therefore from these two premises of divine wisdom and the possibility of eternal life for man, there has to be another life for man, which is different from this life of trials and tribulations. The second way of proving resurrection is through justice. We know that in this world humans are free to choose between good and bad. We find people on one side having served their life worshipping God and serving humanity. On the other side you see tyrants and oppressors who do whatever they desire by oppressing people and committing crime. A criminal who murders 10 people may only be prosecuted once and might be sentenced to death. But is it just that this person killed 10 people and only gets one death? Therefore, as this world is filled with trials and responsibilities, there must be another world where the result of these trials and responsibilities is received, so that the justice of God is manifested. In that world, the person who murdered 10 people will get punished of murdering 10 people. Therefore, it becomes clear that the next world is not a place of choice and responsibility. If you do good, you do good to yourselves. Likewise, if you do evil, you do evil to yourselves.